good stuff. I also got a new microphone, so hopefully this audio is really good. Right now we have got the Hecla 9. This is the all new one. I did a brief overview video on it, but we finally have one in stock. And um, this is the avocado color, as you could probably guess. That's not bad. That's not bad for a stock hub. Okay, so overall it is pretty similar but completely different at the same time to last year's Hecla or the Hecla 8. Overall they've changed two main components. First thing is the battery size. So obviously last year it was that 500 watt hour one. They've gone away with that and gone to the 750. Is it better? Yes. Does it really matter? I don't know. For our area and I think the general consensus of people who are using these I don't know if it's gonna make that huge of a difference. Obviously, you're gonna be able to ride for longer, go further, get up without less charge being used. I've never had too many people complain about running out of the batteries, even when they go to the mountains and such. I'm sure there's guys who are pushing it to the limits and that's where that's came in. But overall, majority of people don't need the bigger battery. Newer people into the sport though, I think may appreciate it. If you're using the battery more and more and you're using less of your own leg power, obviously a bigger battery, a bigger battery is gonna be so much better for you. So the next point they have changed is the shock and fork travel. Overall, these are 10 mils more than the previous model. Teeny bit slack of geometry. Again, overall, they've just designed this to be an easier bike downhill now. They care less about the climb because you have a big battery, because you have electric motor running it. You don't need this like crazy perfect climbing, honestly. You can get away with just a simple, good, comfy geometry and now slam it downhill is gonna be even easier. All right, so with this model, again, they're doing the same thing. It's available in a 29, same as last year, or what we found the more popular size is to be the mixed wheel size and they're throwing on a 27 and a half on the back now the benefit to this, the benefit to something like this is they actually construct this whole geometry here, tighter, smaller, and it's like you can't put a 29 in this. It's not swappable in any which way. This whole rear end is redesigned for the 27 and a half. And what that does is really make that back end agile and easy to handle and throw around, shortens it up especially with this motor being kind of tucked so far forward and centralized, unlike some e-bikes where it's really at the crank itself, they're able to really bring that back end really tight and it's just gonna make for unbelievably good handling compared to many other bikes on the market. The EP8 motor is to thank of that a little bit being that it can get so small, but realistically it's putting this 27 and a half on there. You're able to gain you know, a, an inch of space, which makes up a huge difference when you combine those two features. Same motor as last year, and this is not a Shimano branded battery. This is actually a third party battery, still comes with that same two year warranty, the same as Shimano. So it should work just as good. It is in kind of partnership with Shimano in some way. Um, hasn't been really clear on how, but it's like it's a Shimano approved battery. It's not like they just, Santa Cruz found any old battery which fits in that. It is working with the two year warranty on the Shimano parts too. The color wise is pretty cool. It is this light green. It is like a, um, it is avocado-y, but it's the ripest greenest color you can get. You know, that real pale look to the interior. Overall, the design of the bike is fantastic. It has that VPP, so it really attacks like sharp angles better and easier. It's gonna roll over things superbly well and not have the fork affected too aggressively. Um, and the rear shock as well. To... That design of the VPP is really gonna help with that shock improvement. Really can make sure it's always actuating in the perfect way. And then on top of that, it's just gonna roll over things even easier add the slack angle, add the 29 on the front to roll on top of things easy, and you have this really hand, like excellent handling bike, similar to where the Bronson would be, bit of extra suspension. Again, you've just put that nice motor to it. So another big change they did was going from the double C carbon. So that is Santa Cruz's highest end carbon fiber. It is the lightest, strongest, stiffest carbon fiber out there. And now they've just put in the regular C. 
So it's still a high-end carbon fiber bike. It's still super stiff. It's still super light. You know, this one, I think we were around 48 pounds. You add in a bit of extra suspension, a bit of weight to the frame. This becomes an overall heavier bike. I bet 90% of the weight though comes from that bigger battery. And that's something most people are okay with. I think for the general population of cruising trails, climbing for you know a 45 minute to two hour climb, I think you'll be fine with the 500 watt. But anyone really wanting to venture out or again using more of the turbo mode on electric bikes, that's where you're gonna see a big difference going to a 750. You're gonna have that battery no matter what. Overall, fantastic looking bike. This one here is partnered with the S-Kit, a very popular model, so that means you're getting the full GX part spec. That is GX in the rear end and GX in the front. And this is a good, reliable, fast shifting set with not too high cost replacement parts. You get the SDG dropper post, which has been very good people are really liking that you know little bits of carbon fiber here carbon fiber handlebar it really adds a bit of comfort to it and overall it's just a nice looking bike the rock shark select plus um with the little piggyback here so again it's just going to take the heavier hits really easy and a fox 36 up front so again they've gone away from the 34 big 36 on there you know enduro but not enduro that's kind of where the 36 lies Max's Minion Tires, that's the way to go. And Code, which is really nice, four piston brakes will have superb stopping power. So I really do think this bike is for someone who is looking for an e-bike, who may be new to the sport, but wants to really push it, or most likely I think is someone who knows how to handle a bike from a previous life, if you know what I mean. You biked years ago and you wanted to get back into it but you're looking at electric. Now you're gonna be able to really climb really fast, keep up with the guys, the handling will come back super fast and you'll be able to shred and throw down with this. The last person who it is for is for that hardcore downhill, almost enduro guy who really likes the pain of climbing, but doesn't love it. So wants to be able to climb the biggest, longest climbs from the base all the way up but they don't want to burn all the way. They don't want to spend all day doing it. They want to get up at a really fast pace and then they really, really want to enjoy the down or they want to do a couple laps, you know? It's overall going to be a fantastic option for pretty much anyone who buys it if they're looking in this e-bike range and they're looking to go off-road. The Heckler already was a great bike. Adding these few features is only going to make it better. It's not a mind-changing, like life-changing amount of changes, but it is a change and it's good improvement. There's definitely no downgrade to this. Because of the bigger battery, bigger suspension, overall it comes in about the same price point, even though it's got a lower end carbon set, it's just gonna balance out that little bit. So you're able to kind of get these bigger features without paying more. All right, hopefully this helps someone out. Ask me any questions below if you have any, tell me what e-bike you're on now. Also, let me know if the audio was better in the comments for any long-term watchers. Hopefully it is. This was a pretty expensive microphone, and I do hope it made a big difference. All right, good luck.